Macpherson Strut, the everyday hero. It's cheap, compact, and everywhere. The Macpherson Strut is basically the vanilla ice cream of suspensions. Not flashy, but it gets the job done. Invented in the 1940s, it uses a single strut that combines the shock absorber and the spring into one tall unit. One end bolts to the chassis, the other connects to the steering knuckle. In plain English, it's simple, space-efficient, and perfect for front-wheel drive cars where every inch of room matters. It keeps manufacturing costs low and repairs easy, which is why you'll find it in everything from Corollas to Mustangs. But here's the catch, simplicity has limits. When you corner hard, the Macpherson strut tends to tilt, changing the tire's angle that's called camber change. It means less grip and aggressive turns, great for daily driving, not for carving mountain passes. So what do car makers use when they need sharper handling and more precision? Time to meet the double wishbone. Double wishbone, the precision setup. Think of the double wishbone like a gymnast, balanced, flexible, and always in control. Instead of one tall strut, it uses two arms, shaped like wishbones to control the wheel's position throughout its movement. The genius here, it keeps the tire flat on the road during cornering, which means more grip and better feedback. That's why performance icons like the Honda S2000, Mazda RX-7, and McLaren F1 all used versions of it. You can fine-tune camber, caster, and toe angles precisely, basically suspension geometry nerd heaven. But there's a reason it's not everywhere. It takes up more space and costs more to produce. Packaging double wishbones into a compact SUV? Good luck, it's the perfect setup for cornering gods. But what about cars that need to balance comfort and control, like luxury sedans? That's where the Multilink comes in. Multilink, the compromise king. The Multilink suspension is like having five arms juggling at once. Complex, but incredible when done right. Each wheel has multiple links that can move independently, allowing engineers to fine-tune handling, comfort, and ride quality with surgical precision. It combines the best of both worlds, the geometry stability of a double wishbone and the packaging flexibility of a McPherson strut. That's why it dominates modern performance sedans and high-end cars. BMW, Audi, and Mercedes love this setup because it can make a heavy car corner like it's on rails, while still absorbing potholes gracefully. Here's the trade-off. More parts, more money, and more headaches when something wears out. Replacing bushings or ball joints on a multi-link system isn't for the faint-hearted or the light-walleted. But what about cars that don't even have springs at all? Yeah, we're going there. Torsion Beam, the underdog. Okay, this one gets a lot of hate. But the Torsion Beam isn't as bad as people think. It's basically a solid beam that connects both rear wheels, but it can twist slightly to allow independent motion. It's cheap, tough, and takes up almost no space. Perfect for small cars, where you need trunk room over track performance. Yes, it's technically a semi-independent suspension, meaning when one wheel moves, it affects the other slightly. That's why it can feel less planted in fast corners. But for everyday driving, it's efficient and reliable. Car makers like VW and Toyota still use it because most drivers can't tell the difference, and engineers can spend the saved money on better interiors or safety features. But when you need something that can take a beating on gravel, dirt, and rocks, you'll need something beefier. Solid axle, the tough guy. The solid rear axle, also called a live axle, is pure old-school muscle. Both wheels are locked together on a single solid beam. It's unkillable, easy to service, and perfect for putting power to the ground. Off-road trucks love it because it's durable and simple, fewer parts to break in the wilderness. Drag racers love it because it delivers consistent traction under insane torque loads. But here's the price of toughness, handling precision. When one wheel hits a bump, the whole axle moves. So in terms of comfort and control, it's prehistoric compared to independent setups. But just when solid axles started fading away, engineers found a way to bring toughness and precision together, using air. Air suspension. Comfort meets control. Imagine if your car could literally breathe. That's air suspension. Replacing metal springs with rubber air bladders, filled with pressurized air. It lets you adjust ride height on the fly. Want more comfort on the highway? Inflate for a cushy ride. Need to tackle a steep driveway or go off-road? Raise it. Want a mean stance at a car meet? Drop it. High-end cars like the Audi A8 or Range Rover use adaptive air systems that automatically adjust based on load, speed, or road conditions. Some even link with GPS, lowering the car at highway speeds for aerodynamics. But it's not perfect. Air leaks, failing compressors, and expensive repairs are common. And aftermarket setups, while cool, can ruin handling if not tuned properly. Still, that's nothing compared to what's next. Adaptive and magnetic suspension. The smart revolution. This is where science fiction meets engineering. Adaptive dampers use electronically controlled valves that constantly adjust how firm or soft the suspension feels, hundreds of times per second. And then there's the wild one. Magnetoriological suspension, used by GM, Ferrari, and Audi. Inside each shock is a fluid filled with tiny iron particles. When exposed to a magnetic field, the particles align, instantly changing how stiff the fluid becomes. We're talking real-time adaptation. Your car reads the road and adjusts before you even feel the bump. It's like your suspension has reflexes. The result? Comfort when you want it. Razor-sharp control when you need it. Of course, all that wizardry comes with a price. 
Repairs cost thousands, and tuning them outside factory specs is tricky. But the performance payoff is so massive that even supercars rely on it. And yet, all of this still depends on four patches of rubber. But what if one day, cars could completely change how suspension works? So here's the breakdown. Macpherson struts, simple and cheap. Double wishbones, precise and tunable. Multi-link, balanced perfection. Torsion beams, compact and efficient. Solid axles, rugged and old school. Air suspension, luxury and flexibility. Adaptive and magnetic, smart and futuristic. Each one tells a story about what the car was built to do. Comfort, control, capability, there's no best, just the right setup for the job. So, which suspension would you pick for your dream build? Brutal track precision or cloud-like comfort? Drop it in the comments.